Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the sample and hold circuit, and in this circuit, the MOSFET is used as a switch. So here, for the given MOSFET, we have been asked to find the minimum and the maximum value of this gate voltage VG that is required for the proper sampling and the holding of the given circuit. So let us find that. So here, the given circuit is the sample and hold circuit, and here. This MOSFET is used as a switch. That means whenever this MOSFET is in the on condition, then it will act as a closed switch. And at that time, this sample and hold will operate in the sample mode. That means in this condition, this V out will follow the input signal. And whenever the MOSFET is in the off condition, at that time, it will act as a open circuit. So at that time, this hold capacitor. Will hold the last sampled value, and in this way, this given circuit will work as the sample and hold. So, in this circuit, to use the MOSFET as a switch, we should know that how to turn on and off this MOSFET. Or basically, we should know that how to apply the control voltage to the MOSFET such that it operates as a switch. So here, whenever the circuit operates in the sampling mode, at that time, the MOSFET will remain in the on condition. And if you are aware, then the MOSFET will remain in the on condition when the gate to source voltage is more than the threshold voltage. So here we have been given that the threshold voltage for the MOSFET is equal to three volt. So we can say that for the given MOSFET, when this VG minus VS is more than three volt, then the MOSFET will remain in the on condition. So here to find the minimum value of this gate voltage. Here we should consider the maximum value of the source voltage. So here the maximum value of the source voltage will be same as the maximum value of the input voltage, because it is quite possible that during the previous hold mode, the voltage across this capacitor or the voltage at the source terminal is equal to V I max. And here we have been given that the input voltage range is between plus minus 10 volt. So we can say that. Here the maximum value of the input voltage is equal to plus 10 volt, and the same will be the maximum value of the source voltage. So we can say that over here, this VG minus 10 volt should be more than 3 volt, or we can say that this gate voltage should be more than 13 volt. That means during the sampling, the gate voltage should be more than the 13 volt. That means the minimum required value for the gate voltage is equal to 13 volt, or we can say that this VG minimum is equal to 13 volt. So similarly, now let us find the maximum value of the gate voltage, and that will occur during the hold mode. So during the hold mode, this MOSFET will remain in the off condition, and we know that that will happen whenever the voltage VG is. Is less than the threshold voltage, or we can say that this VG minus VS is less than threshold voltage. So here, to find the maximum value of the gate voltage, we should consider the minimum value of the source voltage, because here, even if the source voltage is at the minimum voltage, in that condition also, this MOSFET should remain in the off condition. For example, if the voltage VS is equal to minus five volt. In that condition, this voltage VG should be in such a way that this MOSFET remains in the off condition. But here, as we know, the input voltage range is between plus minus 10 volt. That means here, this VI minimum is equal to minus 10 volt, and therefore, the minimum value of the source voltage will also be equal to minus 10 volt. So, in this condition also, the value of the gate voltage should be such that The MOSFET remains in the off condition. So here, if we put the value of the VS minimum as the minus 10 volt, then here this VG minus minus 10 volt should be less than 3 volt, or we can say that this VG should be less than minus 7 volt. So from this we can say that here the value of the gate voltage should be less than minus 7 volt, because if it is more than that, then the MOSFET will not go in the off condition. So we can say that here this VG max is equal to minus seven volt, and earlier we have seen that this 
Vg minimum is equal to 13 volt. That means during the sampling time, the control voltage should be at least 13 volt. While during the hold period, this control voltage Vg should not be more than minus 7 volt. So from this we can say that for the given question, this B is the correct answer.